Hello everyone, Jim Kim here again. If you've already seen my previous two videos talking about how we chew and how we taste, the next step is to learn about how we swallow before we dive right into the digestive system, which is my personal favorite. As usual, all of these processes are happening right inside your own body. With that being said, swallowing has a lot of different muscles involved but I will be showing only a few select muscles to simplify the process because I don't want all these technical jargons to cloud you from seeing the big picture of how swallowing works. Now let's get started. Here you see some of the bones have already been removed to better visualize what goes on inside the mouth as we swallow. Generally, there are three steps in swallowing. The first step is separating the nasal cavity from the pharynx because pharynx is where swallowing happens and we don't want the food to be pushed back out of your nose when you're swallowing. And one of the muscles involved in sealing the nasal cavity is the levator villi palatini muscle, which attaches to the soft palate and brings it up until the soft palate basically fuses with the roof of the pharynx. Here, I'm highlighting the hard palate because right on top of it is where the nasal cavity is located at. Similarly, you want to separate the oral cavity from the pharynx, and one of the muscles involved is called palatoglossus. Here you see the tongue, and removing it reveals the palatoglossus muscle, which pulls back the tongue to fuse with the soft palate, and this seals the oral cavity as we swallow. This is important because we don't want the food to get pushed back out of your mouth when we swallow. Just like how we described the soft palate fusing with the roof of the pharynx to seal the nasal cavity. And now here is an actual visual drawing demonstration of how the oral and nasal cavities are sealed. For this, you want to look at the side or the coronal view of our male model. And here is the nasal cavity denoted as the letter N and the oral cavity below it denoted as the letter O. The soft and hard palate are located at the junction of the nasal and oral cavities. And I will mark this specific tip of the palate as S, as in the soft palate. And now I will draw the rest of the pharynx with food that you just chewed all ready to be swallowed, denoted as these green spherical particles right here. First, the nasal and oral cavities are sealed by the LVP or the levator villi palatini muscle that we just described earlier. You can see these red arrows sealing the nasal cavity and now we have palatoglossus or denoted as PG sealing the oral cavity as denoted by the red arrows. This is important because the next step is for these vertical muscles being drawn here called longitudinal pharyngeal muscles to pull the pharynx up. Now, what would happen if the oral and nasal cavities were not sealed in this case? Then they would be pushed back out of your nose and mouth, and we don't want that. By closing the oral and nasal cavities, as demonstrated by these blue wiggly line here, this prevents those food from being pushed out of the nasal and oral cavity. And this allows the contraction of the pharynx to create these folds being demonstrated here that can hold on to the food that is pushed to the roof of the mouth and the relaxation of those longitudinal muscles as well as hyoid muscles that I will be showing soon push these food down and send them down to the esophagus straight into the digestive tract and specifically the esophagus denoted by the letter E right here. Now let's go back to our male model and display some of the longitudinal pharyngeal muscles involved with elevation of the pharynx. First, there is stylopharyngeus muscle right here that originates from the skull. And then there is the palatopharyngeus muscle that originates from the soft palate. So there's the muscle right there being highlighted. And finally, the salpingopharyngeus muscle, which originates from the auditory tube in the nasal 
cavity being highlighted right here. And all three muscles attach the wall of the pharynx to pull it up as I described just previously. Now, how about the muscles that pull the pharynx down? These we have already discussed in a previous video. The hyoid muscles involved with chewing. Specifically, the infrahyoid muscles pull down the hyoid bone, which is attached to the pharynx. So it ultimately brings down the pharynx as well. And finally, to prevent the food from reflexing back up, we have these constrictor muscles, as highlighted here, that are wrapping around the pharynx. And there are three superior pharyngeal, middle pharyngeal, and inferior pharyngeal constrictor muscles. And that's basically it. Just to recap, the nasal cavity is shut by a palatini muscle. The oral cavity is shut by palatoglossus muscles. Then pharynx moves up and down like a boa snake devouring its prey via the longitudinal pharyngeus muscles and the infrahyoid muscles. Last but not least, there are these constrictor muscles that wrap around the pharynx to keep the food from refluxing back out. I hope this video wasn't too confusing and helped you understand the fundamentals of how we swallow and form those new neural connections about how we swallow. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, and leave comments. This has been Jim Kim, and have a good night or a good day.